95 Honda Accord. It is raining and here we go again. I'm on the driver's side and you can see what's going on. Water is pouring in onto the top of the carpet. I cannot believe that this is leaking again after the last video that I posted a few weeks ago. Obviously it's coming in through the door right beneath where the speaker is. I honestly don't understand how that's getting in, but tomorrow uh, we'll take it all apart and we'll try to figure it out. Well, it is the next day. Obviously, I have the door panel taken off. I also have the vapor barrier taken off and it came off in several pieces. Plastic is dry and brittle. The leak this time was up here and that recess is where this fits into. I'm not exactly sure what this is, but it ties into the wiring harness that goes to the instrument cluster on the armrest. This time the water was leaking in through the top corner and it ran down here, dripped out right here in the front and straight down below that is the speaker and that's where we saw it leaking out to start the video. But this vapor barrier was just so dry and brittle. The plastic was, you can just tear it apart easily. So again, I tore it all off in pieces. I scraped off all of the old adhesive with a putty knife. What I have to do now is replace the vapor barrier. So I'm going to research what type of adhesive to use. For the adhesive, I went with Butyl Tape, which I bought off eBay for about $11. It's a 13 foot roll. And the plastic I'm gonna use is two mil thick. And this I bought at Lowe's for a little less than $5. So I need to cut a two foot by three foot section of this. Now I see a mistake that I may have made already by not allowing for the fact that some of that plastic has to be recessed into that hole. All I did was measure straight across and the three feet that I cut the plastic gave me some extra room, but again, I did not allow for the fact that that's a recessed area that some of the plastic's gonna have to be pushed into. Now the objective is to cut as few holes in this plastic as possible to get all this wiring through. So with that done, all this wiring can go through one hole in the plastic. Then I may need two more to plug these in and one for the control arm that goes back to the door handle to the lock. So if I put it right on the edge on the left side and after pushing it in a little bit, I'm still gonna have enough on this side. So three feet by two feet is gonna work. I need a hole in the plastic right about, right about here. And I made the hole kind of small to start out with. If I need to make the hole bigger, I can. That's the biggest piece that has to go through. And this is the last one. Now I need a hole right about here for the arm that goes back to the lock and I can just poke that through, slide that back. And what else do I need? I'm gonna need to cut out around the speaker. I can do that last. I need a hole for these two. Where does that go? That might not work. Let me get the butyl tape on and stick this up and see what happens. Having a leak again in the same spot that I had about a month ago, that last video that I posted about the door leak, makes me think that maybe this was the problem all along. Although I did wait before I posted that video, which I show in the video, I waited for two heavy thunderstorms before I posted the video saying that I had it fixed. And the door did not leak during those two thunderstorms. This time I know for certain that this piece was the issue. Oh, I'm getting in trouble here. This is what not to do. Do not let that butyl tape contact the plastic if you can help it because it sticks like crazy. Oh, son of a... Keep the plastic away from the tape until you're ready to stick it on. It was almost a disaster. I'm sure it's obvious, but this is my first time replacing a vapor barrier in its entirety. I patched them before, but I have never replaced the whole barrier. Going in. I hope that recess is deep enough. Let me start hooking stuff back up, get that piece that goes in this little recessed area, get that back in, and then I'll work my way over to the left.
All right, that fit, but that plastic's really tight, so I wish I'd push that in a little bit more. And that's stuck on there so well, I don't want to pull that back off. But if you're working on a 94 through 97 Accord, make sure you have that plastic pushed up in there deeper than what I had. All three of these snap back on to the instrument cluster that goes on the armrest. This goes to the door lock. This one snaps in there. This one needs to snap onto there. So I need to cut a hole for that to go through. Let's see what else. Oh, the metal brace that goes right here. And then that screw on the armrest goes down in here. So with this wiring harness through now, we can pull this tight and press that down. Now let me get the excess plastic trimmed off from around the sides. Got the excess plastic trimmed off from around the edges and I got that plastic pushed down against the butyl tape nice and tight. So it's time to put the door panel back on. Don't forget about this one, it needs to go back through this hole. That snaps into the handle for the locks. And snap the locking pins in. There we go. And here's that wiring harness. If you don't think about it, this can get left behind pretty easily. That's for the automatic locks. If you have automatic locks, now that metal arm coming from the lock snaps through that hole. Then you spin that red tab around and it locks on the arm. Just like that. There are two little arms. This is a top one that lock into the metal door frame. And I have to poke holes in the plastic so those arms can go through. So now those arms should go through the holes in the frame. And then I should be able to pull it back to the left just like that to lock it in. Now that single Phillips head screw to hold the handle in place and snap the cover down. And I know I didn't show you how to take this door panel off, but I'll put a link down below in the description to a video. It's about a minute and a half, and it will show you how to take the door panel off on a 94 through 97 Accord. Make sure everything works. Make sure the mirror moves, which it does, and door locks. Now we're good. All right, cancel that, not done yet. I took the door panel off. I knew I forgot something. I wanna put some aluminum HVAC tape over the cuts in the plastic, especially this one, I kind of butchered that. Couple of more spots to put tape down below too. And now one last thing before I put that door panel back on for the second time, I wanna show you where it was leaking and cut that light out. If we go right on the other side, right down there in the corner, See how there's a separation between that molding or that weather stripping, whatever you want to call it. And if I put that light right down there in the corner and then come inside, you can see the light shining on top of whatever that is. So the water that leaks in through that crevice pours directly over the backside of this. And if the plastic is old and brittle or compromised in any way, this old plastic, you're gonna get a leak. It's gonna drain right down to the bottom and leak out onto your driver's side floorboard just like we saw at the beginning of the video. Now with that plastic piece where the water was leaking through, I have it suspended and I'm gonna run some water down the back side and see if we can see how that water is getting in. I see a couple of tears in the plastic right here, right there, and a few more across the bottom. There we go right there. See it on the left side? And it looks like it's coming in through that little slit right there on the side. And that's just me applying water with an eyedropper. Here's a closer view of where that water is coming in. The slit is right up here and I'm not going to use the eyedropper. I'm just going to dump a little jar of water on top. And there it goes. Look at that big puddle right there. That's what would happen if it was raining. So I'm pretty confident that was the problem. 
Look for links down below in the description to the butyl tape and the plastic used in the video. Also a link to the video I mentioned about how to take the door panel off on a 94 through 97 Accord. And if you have a leak on your driver's door or any one of your doors, check out the old dried out plastic on your vapor barrier, especially if you have a piece like this, a recessed piece that has water running right down on the top of it because that plastic does dry out with age. It gets brittle and it cracks and it may develop a water leak like this one did. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. All right, first rainfall since replacing the vapor barrier. It's been raining steady for about 45 minutes and no water at all. Dries a bone all the way along the door. So replacing that vapor barrier, apparently, at least for now, has stopped the leak. And right here is where it was leaking in before. So I think we're good.